Hi guys, good morning. This is Dan. Welcome to Engel Guys. For those of you that are new, welcome. For those of you that are returning, welcome back. For those of you that support me over on Patreon, thank you so very much um, for your support. Uh, this is the daily um, forecast for all signs. This is actually the Sunday reading, so it uh, kind of corresponds to the entirety of the week. Um, we're talking about each of these cards that you'll see today may represent one or two, maybe three days of your week. Um, if, if it matches up, great. If it doesn't, that's okay. Nothing's wrong. You may want to check out the drop-down menu underneath the video uh, to um, sort of see um, where my social medias are at, uh, things I want you to know as you're using, utilizing my videos, any of that, all of that stuff. It's all included in the drop-down video description. Please hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button if you feel so inclined. I would greatly appreciate it. We're, uh, this reading is originally created for the 1st of August through the 7th, so we're starting a new month with two new decks, so that's exciting. I didn't do a poll over on Patreon for the decks because this deck has been telling me that it wants to be paired with the, de the tarot deck that I chose, so we'll see how it goes, um, but I definitely felt like this deck was kind of calling out, so we're going to see how these messages come out this month, second half of Leo season... That's exciting, beginning to move into Virgo season, so should be interesting, and let's get started. Okay, if you have any questions, uh, you can leave me a question or comment on the video, and I will read it, potentially answer it, and let's see, oops, that feels a little sketchy, and we're working with a brand new deck, so it's a little slick. Okay. All right, so the beginning of the week card, we've got the star, I'll take it. Beautiful, lovely, calm, soothing energy, right? Stars associated with the sign of Aquarius. It is major arcana. It should be like a, to me, it's like a quiet um, uh, whisper into the new week. Uh, ideally, we're entering our new week in a state of peace, calm, uh, maybe a realization of some sort or a revelation of some sort that brings us that peace or calm that awareness of being sort of connected to the greater whole of things or the, the, you know, the bigger picture, being able to see things a little bit more clearly from a broader perspective. And that perspective should bring us that sort of idea uh, or that sense of calm, uh, relaxed nature, right? Uh, I love all of the roots that the artist has created in or left in this card. It's not something you traditionally see, but to me, it makes me feel like we're sort of rooted, rooted into the sort of uh, present moment so that we can grow like the tree that we see there. This kitten is sort of like very much, uh, and the reason why I chose this deck is, by the way, it's the Grimalkin Tarot by MJ Cullinane, who's a uh, tarot reader and artist that I love. And so I've had this deck for some time and I just haven't found the right time to use it. And I thought, hmm, second half of Leo season might be perfect. So we're going to be dealing with cats uh, through the month of uh, August. But with this card, to me, it's definitely, I want to say, don't let the more subtle nuances of the star go by unnoticed, right? Be grateful for the peace, the tranquility, anywhere we can find it, nurture it, um, create more of it for ourselves in this early part of this week, do it. I think that it brings about, like I said, a better awareness or a better perception of where things are at in our life or, you know, maybe a better sense of sort of uh, completion or understanding of, of who we are, where we're at, how we're dealing with things. And it should be a positive, um, uh, lovely card. It's interesting we're seeing the star, which is the card that follows the tower. And last uh, week, we saw the tower twice. Once it was in the... Um, it was in the Sunday reading, but it would also followed us up on that Monday of last week. So this is the natural progression in the Major Arcana of the next card following the tower. So maybe we are finding some a moment to breathe, rest, relax. The middle of the week is the Three of Wands. Beautiful card, wands being the element of fire, that of spirit, desire, taking action. To me, the Three of Wands is about beginning to create whatever it is that we want, beginning to really start to put the plan into motion, be, beginning to really dwell in the dreams or the thoughts, the ideas, the hopes of what it is 
we want to create. Each one of you is going to want to create something different. You might find yourself formulating the plan or beginning to take the first steps towards that plan. As we look at this cat, he's looking at those mountains and yes, there might be a journey ahead of him, but he's definitely ready to do it, right? He's ready to go after it and move towards it. He's sort of formulating, we may not be moving, uh, you know, for those of you that aren't feeling as though you're moving forward just yet, that's okay. Use the midweek to sort of, you know, plan accordingly. Uh, it will, you know, kick off at some point if it doesn't actually kick off in the midweek for you. For those of you that do feel like you're moving towards your goals or you see your goals clearly, maybe now is the time to start to take small steps or, or steps when, when and where you can towards the achieving of those goals, right? And um, dwelling in sort of the possibility that is there for you. The excitement, the thrill, the, um, you know, how does it sort of feel? How does it stir your soul? How does it, you know, where does it make you, um, where does it open you up and, and, and exhilarate you, right? And living in that, dwelling in that, really kind of uh, feeling that. Now, the next card this is your end of the week card. This is the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is a card where it sometimes can feel trapped or stuck. We could be limited in our thoughts or our beliefs of how a situation may be, and we may not necessarily feel like we can get out of whatever situation we're in. It's not necessarily the truth, though. It's just sort of how we perceive something or see the situation. That might be, I kind of feel like when I'm looking at the star at the beginning of the week and the ace of the swords at the end and the three of uh, wands, again, to me, it really looks like this is a time to kind of pay attention to where our thoughts are at, our minds are at, our thought, our hopes are at. Are we um, trusting them, believing in them? Do we believe that they're real? Do we believe that we can have them? Do we believe that we can create them? I think that we're challenged by this Ace of Swords at the end of the week to maybe uh, clear away some of those thoughts or release ourselves from some of those thoughts that might limit us, right? And we, they might, you know, we might find ourselves dealing with a like actual physical situation, person, whatever, at the end of the week that might be blocking us or making us feel like we maybe can't move forward. But the question is, is on some level, it's our thoughts or our beliefs that have sort of maybe placed this situation or person in our life or made their uh, made it able for them to sort of hold us up or stop us in a way. And ultimately, like when we look at it from that perspective, we can also realize that they're only like sort of helping to self-fulfill like the prophecy that we have kind of going on in our own mind or in our own head. They don't are, you know, they're like a mirror of our belief system. So ultimately, this is an opportunity to get ourselves just that much more freer, that much more, um, uh, you know, free in our thoughts or our beliefs um, so that we can obtain the things that we want or, or whatever it is that uh, we want to change or cultivate in our life. Now, here's the, uh, the other deck that I decided to use was the uh, Psychic Tarot of the Heart. Even though it is Tarot, it's an Oracle deck. So it says Psychic Tarot. So I thought, interesting, but we'll work with it. Spread your wings. So to me, when I look at this, I think that the Spread Your Wings takes place in this Three of sword, or three of Wands. I'm sorry, do you see these three birds, these three crows there? They're certainly spreading their wings. They're starting to dream. And I like that this says to us, okay, we get to walk the path. The path may be sort of, you know, we may not actually begin to step on the path just yet, but we will begin to walk the path. We might be confronted with some sort of limiting beliefs, though, or thoughts in our mind in that Eight of Swords that we have to deal with or clear away so that we can continue to move forward and... Um, and spread our wings, take that step. Uh, this being card number two, twos to me are always about couplings. Uh, this could be the relationship to the self, looking a little bit more deeply, a little bit more precisely at where we're at, where, what we want, and then just de de sort of dealing with the thoughts that limit us or hold us back, that stop us from um, going about, you know, creating what it is that we want. So this may be the theme for this week for us. And so the grounding stone, this is something to ground in for this week. And the word is wisdom. So our own wisdom is being informed this week. 
oops, we're being informed of our, um, you know, especially, I feel like we're being informed of our own wisdom, not only in the star, right, which is that sort of peace that comes with it, but we're also being informed of our wisdom or where our mind is at, where our intelligence is at in that Eight of Swords. Um, don't like, I, I kind of feel like when I look at these three cards and then the spread your wings coupled with the wisdom stone, to me, it's like, don't fear the limitations that you place on yourself, sit with them, acknowledge them, work with them, understand them, and then maybe begin to change them. Only you can change them, right? Only you can change, like you can allow them to sort of continue to limit you, or you can allow them to maybe make you a little bit more intelligent or a little bit more aware, a little bit more, um, like you can transform them, right? So the key is, is you like, or what I feel like the message is, is to ground in your wisdom, ground in your belief in self. Look at all aspects of sort of where you're at and do you give yourself the freedom to move forward? Do you give yourself the freedom to sort of spread your wings and to go after what it is that you want? I really do believe that it's there for all of us. We just have to understand it and be aware of it and trust it and in a way sort of allow it to inform us. And I think that might be the goal of this week. Certainly the message of these cards. Um, I look forward to see how this goes. Um, this should be a beautiful week. It should be quite interesting. Um, so please tune in this week and uh, we'll watch how these cards build and how the messages come to us this week. And, um, you know, thank you so much for tuning in and watching now. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, leave me a question or comment. And I look forward to seeing you guys all throughout this week as we um, see where this maybe might lie for us during this week and around what situations in our life we might be working on or be challenged by. All right. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.